What's up guys, it's Wednesday. So I'll give you guys all an update real quick. What we got going on this month. There's the mailbox for the local veterans. Put their flags in. A guy named Dan Hatella out of Waverly, Iowa did all the artwork on it. We just clear coated it for him. If you got a chance, go look him up on the web. He does some really cool airbrushing. Anyway, got the Galaxy pretty much done. Still needs to be wet sanded and buffed. Waiting on a windshield and some bumpers. Take a quick peek at her. Get this cover off the back. There she is. You say it's nothing fancy, it ain't no show car, it's just regular cruiser. It's got some uh, orange peel and it needs to be sanded out. Actually pretty good size orange peel. the rear quarters we are working on in the last video it came out pretty damn good there's that one we got a few new ones in this week uh, this is a Germany 69 X11 4 speed Camaro He's gonna turn into a 396 clone. It was a 350 car. She's gonna need rear quarters and the Dutchman panel right back here. You see that it's all rotted out. Had quarters on it before. They're all see all the old putty popping out. I think we're gonna do a roof skin. We haven't 100% decided yet, but got a lot of cancer up here. Lots and lots of rust. I'm pretty sure once we get that front window out, that whole channel will be gone. Front fender ain't in bad shape. Pretty good sized dent right there. We can fix that though. There's some more of the roof. I think the best bet is just to put a skin on that one. Trunk lids got chunks of putty falling out of it. But I think besides the fenders, everything else in the whole body is going to be new. We're wedding new doors, new quarters, new trunk. I think the only thing we're really going to keep is probably going to be the hood and fenders and the front balance pan there. The rest of it's pretty much junk. I 
there's a look at that one. Uh, Dan O'Doul, he dropped off his 66 Chevelle. Let me turn the lights on in the paint booth here real quick. Here's Dan Chevelle. It's actually a really solid car. It went through the tornado here in Parkersburg in 2008. And he's been in the middle of redoing it, and we're going to finish it up for him. He's got the Roof skin's already on there. And original cord's got a bunch of dents, but there's you know there's no rust in this car. Door skins are on there crooked, so we're gonna have to cut those off, put new ones on. There's a lot of stuff just don't line up on it. A new quarter on this side. Got to replace a chunk of the firewall. And we probably won't start on this car for another month. Okay, next, 84 Chevy truck, this is going to be another quick one, nothing special, make it really straight, spray and go, so pretty much rust free, it's got a little bit showing through right there, so I'll have to put a patch panel in there, that's a super, super clean truck. For in Iowa, anyway. Hard to find a truck with no rust in Iowa. All right, the Chevelle. Got all the paint and clear order for this. We got the paint in. Still waiting on the clear. That should be here Friday. And we're down to down the blocking it out with 400. Gonna do one more coat of primer, then 600 it. That all came out super super nice. There's the color she's gonna be. You can't really see. It's gonna be a Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It'll come to me. It's an old Chrysler color. It's kind of an orange-red. It'll flip-flop from orange-red in the sun. Here's the fenders. Them are new Goodmark fenders. And you see all the spot putty around there. That's all the low spots. Actually, needed quite a bit of work for a brand new fender. There's the other one over here. I'm thinking probably Monday we'll be spraying that, uh, getting the old Chevelle sprayed. Yeah, the color's almost, a, it's almost like a tan jello. House of Colors Tangelo. That's what we got going on this week, guys. That's about 10 o'clock at night. You gotta get home and see the wife and kids. I'm gonna cover this back up and get on out of here. See y'all later.